Hey, my name is Brian Sitton. I'm with Crowd Control Games. Um, today is a very simple thing we're going to make. We're going to make a do-it-yourself uh, vortex cannon. Now, some of you might be thinking, hey, that looks a lot like a trash can. It's not. It's a vortex cannon. Um, a vortex cannon, the science behind it is pretty straightforward. What we're doing is we're creating a chordial vortex that propagates faster than it dissipates, which means you hit it hard and it makes people's hairs move, okay? Uh, or you can, you can really annoy cats with it as well. It's a lot of fun. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a large, anything that's large and um, uh, cylinder shaped. Uh, we were also thinking about, you can also make them out of something like this size. If you want to make a smaller hand size version, you can do that as well. But the trick is, I've even seen people make them out of cardboard boxes. That works well. But the trick is, if you can get a nice solid uh, trash can like this, a nice open side on this side, you take this small side, and here's the tricky part, cut a small hole in this side, right? A nice size about just, and in fact, this actually had the, it was already kind of spaced out for us. We got a Dremel tool and just zipped right through that real quick. And then we went and we bought some um, six mil plastic sheeting from the hardware store. I was just not getting it. Uh, he was just back in the hardware store. There you go, fantastic. And what we do is, um, there's a couple different ways to do it. Obviously, you want to cut a circle of some sort and put it on top of that. Well, we found a very simple way to do this is to go ahead and just put this over the top and kind of get it into place. And then you'll take a piece of, uh, uh, elastic, like some, uh, what is it, what are these called? Uh, bungee, strap. thank you, that's exactly what I, bungee straps, I think is the technical term. And what we're going to do is, we're just going to strap this thing he onto place. term, just in case you guys were wondering. Yeah. That was term. Term. Yeah, yeah. Term. Yeah. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we're going to strap, where's the handles? Right here? Yep. Uh, just gonna stretch that nice and hard, ready? And we can kind of pull it tight, pull, pull it tight, you. grab a friend from the front row to help you whenever pull possible. You, pull, pull, hold that side, the All top right, part yeah, of I'm the, I'm on it. There you All go. Right. And then we now, just go like this. The person here is in the most danger. If he lets go, it will hurt. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. Shoot, there we go. Yeah, it was supposed to. Yeah, it was supposed to, but that's okay. You're not a trained professional like us. <laughs> that's fine. There we go. What, what, what's your name? Scott. All right, Scott. Hey, let's let's for Scott. Scott. So as you can see, all we've done is we've strapped a piece of plastic onto the top of the trash can, right? Keeps the smells in and everything. It's fantastic. And what you want to do is you want to pull it down nice and tight all the way around. And then once you've got that down nice and tight, you're going to want to take a a scissors saw blade of cutting some sort, utensil of some sort. type of a cutting utensil, and just cut all the way around the edge like that. You can use a nice tool like that. And then uh, we could do it right now, or we could do like the magic of television, and we've already got one pre-baked in the oven beside <laughs> us. Um, you'll cut that off and then apply duct tape to hold this on nice and tight. Okay. Once this is on nice and tight and cut, Nice and solid. It looks kind of like this one right here, which you just got done doing. Well, hey, we hey, should have that. taken one off and brought it back on. That would have yeah. been more magical. Yeah. Oh, we could have just. Yeah, yeah. That would have <laughs> been beautiful. So what we have here is, this is the side. We also went ahead and we tied a, a rope to it just to give it a handle so you can strap it on, make it a little easier to hold. So you got a hole on this side, a big flat piece on this side, and you can just hit that as hard as you can. And once you do that, it creates a shock wave of pressure. And it actually creates a shock wave that's going to travel out in front of it, and this little ball of air uh, is going to travel use right behind. You should the vortex at some point. I already used the okay, vortex. Yeah, I, I was it. getting plastic. It was pretty fantastic. It should have been here. It was really good. Right. Now, typically, at this point, it's a lot of fun. We can take a smoke machine and actually fog the inside of that. Smoke goes here. And then once you hit the vortex cannon, you can actually see the chordial vortex propagating faster without dissipating. It's fantastic. It looks like a smoke ring traveling, and it can clearly hit you guys. So what we can do is just, I know well, you won't just, be able to see to it. Just to on that a little bit. We were going to do that in here, but when we were in San Diego doing uh, the show, we set the fire alarms off, and the fire marshals came and told us not to do that anymore. Yeah, so, so we learned our lesson. For, yeah, so. But if you want to feel the rings, we can try that right now. Yeah, let's do it. So you want to hit some people? Yep. I think, I think we should try to hit the guy in the purple right there. See if you can uh, get the guy in the purple right there. Purple shirt. Wait, we need someone. Which purple? That purple? Yeah, let's try it. Hey, we need someone with longer it. hair. Oh, yeah. right. Uh, two about, people to the right. Do you mind if we mess your hair up a little bit? Yeah, do you mind? Kind of do one of those kind of things. Oh, oh, yes. Thanks, That's shampoo. fantastic. Shampoo model. Okay, ready? Oh, that went high. Go Did low. Did go high? Go low. Oh, oh, I got a shirt. Wait, hold on. Year. I got a shirt. Hold on. Got the bystander. It's hard to aim if you it's don't. It's hard to aim without the, with, without the vortex ring in it. Okay, let me try. Oh. I keep hitting this shirt. I, <laughs> I know. I don't know why. It, there we go. I'm okay. going. I'm pulling left. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Ready? We were going to put a laser scope on there to kind of line it up better. There, there we, we go. go. Okay, huh? That's okay, what you now do. we got. I see the rapid fire. That was a nice move. That's, That's what you do right there. Trained professional. Thank you. Thank trained you very professional. Much. Um, so these are, this takes about, the most expensive part of this is the trash can itself. Uh, it takes about all of five minutes to put together. Uh, the except, for the except for the hole. Yeah, the drum will just take a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, some other things you can do are there are some more advanced, if you want to go crazy with this, you can actually do the type where you can attach uh, a little handle here, uh, hook up some uh, bungees to the inside where it pulls it back and you can actually pull it back and release it like the old Air Zookas, if you guys remember those. Uh, remember those? Those are good. Um, those are possible. It's just a little bit more challenging to make. These work almost as good, 
and they're a ton easier to build. And you can make these really quick little, very durable. Uh, the kids can just hit them all night, and it, if for some reason they even punch a hole through it, this is just uh, about a $2 piece of plastic you can replace in about 10 minutes. So. Yeah, so pull it off, put it back on again. So the funnest things to do are obviously set up a, the most challenging thing, if you guys may have noticed this today, is you, you don't have any visual feedback of where your bullets are going, right? And it's just kind of like you just, so the best thing to do is to have some visual feedback. So if up on the wall you can hang uh, tissue paper, streamers, uh, toilet paper, and actually be able well, to see. The, what do the lamps do if we hit the lamps? I don't know what happens. Hey, I knocked something down. Who's, you think I knocked that shirt over? Yeah, see if you can knock the shirt over. That'll be fantastic. Hey, hey you, you guys catch that shirt if it falls over, okay? Like somebody, I feel like can you, you might want to plug your ears right here. I, I, I apologize for what's about to happen. But, uh, we're going a little high there. Okay, wait, I'll just do it right here. How's that? Is that okay with you? <laughs> Put that balloon. Hey, throw the balloon up in the air and I'll try Pull. to get it. Pull! Oh, yeah. I almost had it. I almost had it. That was good. I that think I pushed good. it down. Okay. All right.